Hello. Okay, so today I'm having a rough day. I'm having a really rough day. And I need to get out of it, so I'm going to do a dirty pour. We're going to do another record. And so that's what we're going to do today. I apologize if you see my puppy. She can't see her yet. She has decided that she needs to be everywhere I am right now because I'm going blah, blah. So anyway, um, today's Dirty Pour, we're going to use Artist Loft, Artist Loft, mm -hmm. um, Ivory Black. We're going to use Deco Art Metallic Gold. And we're going to use Sherwin Williams Color to Go. And it is called Sun Dried Tomato. I'm probably going to put a little bit of white in there because these two are really dark. Regardless, um, my pouring medium, I'm using M1. I've already poured it into the cups. My whites. My white's already done. I, uh, I usually get a big gallon of white at a time and I'll put it in the two liter and put the M1 and everything in it so that it's ready to go when I need it. So, just pour a little bit in and we'll set that to the side. Cause I won't need it for a while. Ta -da! All right, so I've already got the M1 in the colored paint cups, so that should be helpful. I'm not sure I'm gonna use all of the I know maybe I am because it is a record. My idea for the day is I tried on my last record pour, I wanted to get a mandala effect. And it didn't work because, well, I don't know why it didn't work 100%. I think part of it was the fact that my cup didn't have a spout and it just decided to just roll off the side of the cup and go down the side instead of just pouring out. So I have... Oh, I can see my puppy's tail. My bibber. My puppy. Anyway, um, so today I went to the dollar store and I got a handled measuring cup, but it has a spout right there. Oh, you're over here. <laughs> oh, I got I got a tripod, so you get a little bit different of a a look around not not that much of a difference but it will be later because I can raise you up and I can lower you back down kind of want to keep the gold a little bit thick just for giggles I don't want all of the gold to just disappear into the background and these are two pretty decently dark colors so my hope is that I can stir it enough and keep it just thick enough that it will, okay, this is the consistency you want. I don't even know if you can see that. Let me see if I can, there we go. So the gold is to consistency. I'm really hoping that it will be a lot of gold. I would like more gold. A lot of golds and reds is what I would really like. I've not tried sun-dried tomatoes, so I don't know. I probably will not use much more than that in black. Black is a really dark color and black goes a long way. It really truly does. It black saturates everything and I don't obviously don't mind you can see the beautiful black one right here which I still have not completely finished I mean the paint on it is finished however I am still going to add 
a resin coat on it. And because, oh, this is really chunky and chunky and funky. Yeah. I might be stirring this for quite a while, so I might. Wow. I've never had one quite this thick. And that's okay. We're going to add water to it. This is just regular water out of the tap. That might have been a little too much water. But this was really thick and chunky. Chunky, chunky, chunky. Anyhow, how are you guys doing? How are you doing today? How was your weekend? How was last week? Talk to me. Tell me what's going on. Um, let's see. What have I done lately? I have not done a lot of anything. Um, it's been a... Last week was a rough week. We lost somebody in the family and so just trying to deal with that and figure out, you know, where do we go from here? And so I just felt the need to, to get in a better mood and life is art and I'm like, oh, let's do some art therapy and see if that works. And that is still really thick. Oh, that's like a... I don't know, when you take ice cream and you put it in a bowl and scoop it around with a spoon to try to get it to turn into a shake and it doesn't quite do it because ice cream's still too thick and that's what that looked like. It was gross. Yuck. Anyhow, okay. So we're getting there, we're getting there. This is probably doubled, not quite doubled the volume of the black I put in the cup. Oh, so much better. So much better. There we go. Yeah, I just have to remember, don't use a lot of black, at least in this part. Um, you can't quite see the other side of the table. I've got things strategically placed because I'm hoping that I've got enough energy to do, I don't know, three or four more. This is the only record I'm going to do, though. So, black is ready to go. Set that off to the side. And now, I shook it before, but it never hurts to shake it again. That and my husband loves it when I shake paint because my face just distorts and it's hilarious. Okay. Take that off and show you that. It's really terrible coloring in here. Coloring? Huh. Lighting. It's all above me. You can see some coming through the windows, but not a major amount. Let's see if I can get this in here. There we go. And I'm making a mess. It's a good thing I'm the only one that uses the paint because. I truly make a mess when I do this, and I do not mind because I'm the one cleaning it up. But I try not to get it like everywhere. But see, see, I made a mess. <laughs> All right, sun dried tomato. I never even thought of that. In fact, I should. I don't know that she's on YouTube. Um, my. One of my nieces, um, we did her baby shower on Sunday, and her grandmother on the other side of the family has a sister who just painted her house. And I am going to need more. More red! Anyway, her sister just painted her house, or painted a room in her house, or whatever, and she came up for the baby shower on Sunday and found me and told me she brought me a whole bunch of paint. And she brought me, I think it was seven or eight containers like this, full of paint. It was 
amazing. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Um, this is, wow, I did make a mess, a hole. Sorry about that. I'm just going to get messy and I cannot just, I can't just leave it a mess. I have to clean it. It's an OCD thing. Anyway, so she brought me a bunch of paint and she brought me like three or four different types of green that are beautiful. I didn't realize, you know, I mean, and I guess I should have realized the variation in green, but apparently I didn't until she gave me the paints and I opened them up today. I have a bonsai green paint that is, I don't even know how to describe it. It is really, really pretty. It's, it, it reminds me of like, kind of like a mint green but deeper, it, it just, not like there's depth to it, but it, it kind of, it's the only way to, to describe it, it, it seems like there's more depth to it than a mint. Uh, let's see, the other one was, let's see, there was bonsai, there was celery. That one was really pretty too. I haven't figured out what colors to do with that one. Um, and then there was a plum purple that was just beautiful. I was going to do the plum with this sun-dried tomato and I was like, nah, I don't know about that. I don't know. I wasn't sure. I just wasn't quite sure how that would work out. There we go. That is about the thickness I want. Give the cup a good scrape and see if we can get some of this. I don't know why I do that. It's just habit, I guess, to make sure it's not like, I don't know, gonna get all over my hand, which it's going to anyway. I don't know why I care. Blah. Okay, and I'm going to grab over here. I'm gonna grab the torch because I know you know that I know that I know that I know that I'm going to torch it. I can't not torch it. I can't not play fire. Anyhow, this is just a bare color sample. Purple. Really pretty. I didn't use this one today, though. It's not, I only got a little bit left. Anyway, I'm going to put that there. And I will put the record on top of it so that when it flows off the edge, it doesn't, you know, because you can't put anything on the back. So I've already taped the back, um, actually taped the hole. Give me one second, I have to unplug you. There we go, sorry. Apparently I needed to. I can't record while I'm got the phone plugged in because then I get stupid messages on the screen. Anyway, just kidding, sorry. So, okay, record. I put tape across the back of the hole to cover the hole. I've already primed it with two, I think maybe three coats of white. So it's, it's there. We're going to pour through the strainer that has the rubber stopper on the back to keep the paint from going through the center hole because I hot glued it really, really well. Can you see the hot glue? Right, there you go. So I'm hoping when I'm pouring, I'm going to pour in a circle. I'm hoping it's going to go around here and maybe get a mandala effect. I don't have a clue. Last time I did that, didn't quite work out. No big deal. It is what it is. So we're going to try to get, get your butt. Sit down. Anyhow, let's get the white stir. Yeah. I may need, I think I'm going to add a little bit more water to this white. It's a little thick. It's a little bit. Just a little, little, little bit thick. Okay. And here we go. Alrighty. Oh, and I don't want to forget. I almost forgot. I got all excited thinking I was ready to go. Grabbed my little measuring cup dealy bobby didn't even think about it 
didn't, I almost missed it. I almost missed it. And somebody would have called me on it. Somebody would have. Today we are going to try a different um, silicone. It's 100% silicone. It is treadmill belt silicone by Lifespan. I could just, I guess I could just spray it in there. Let's just spray it in there. Who cares? Okay, so I've got a little bit in each one. Just give it a quick, quick stir. I do need to keep that. I don't know why. I always try to, like, put them off screen like I'm not going to use them or something. And that's just not smart because I know I'm going to need it. I don't really see much of it in the black. I don't know. I may have needed to put a little bit more. I think I'm going to put a little bit more in the black. A little bit more in the white. Just, just, just because. I'm hoping to get some bigger cells. Doesn't really matter, I guess. In the long run, it doesn't really matter how many cells I get. It's just going to be beautiful either way. Okay, now we can put it in the cup. Something to remember when you're doing your dirty pour is that whatever color you put in first in the cup is going to be the last. So, that being said, I think I want the red to be last. In fact, I am going to pause you for a minute and put you at a different angle with the tripod so you can actually see a little bit more. Give me one second. Hi there. How are you doing? There we go. Okay. So this is a little bit different of a, a view for you, which makes me a little excited. So I'm gonna set that there. Wow. I'm gonna get a little messy. and bring you a little bit closer and see if I can get you to see what I'm doing here. So we're going to drop some red. I'm going to put some black. I don't want a lot of black. Let's put a little bit of white right in the center. And then we're going to put a big amount of gold. Oh, it's starting to look pretty in there. Starting to look pretty. We'll put some more red. A little bit more black. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see that yet because I'm not even looking up at the camera to see what you can see. But this is starting to look really pretty in the cup. I guess you can see a little bit. I keep trying to look up at the camera to see what all you can see. I know this is a lot of paint for just a record, but my hope is that it kind of, you know, spreads around and does the mandala effect. Look at that. Look at that. I don't know how to zoom on this thing while it's recording. That's terrible. A little bit more white. Oops. How about that? I got it on the table. And let's see. Put some more gold, and I'm gonna run out of gold soon. That's okay. A little bit more red. And what is it? Whatever's left in the cups is left in the cups, whatever. And add the last bit of black that I want. That might be a little too much black. So let's see if we can counteract it with some white. Dun dun. My hope is that the white and the black mix and I get a really pretty gray in there would be amazing for me. All right, I'm gonna scrape this. My, my, my big puppy has decided to play with the little dog. And so I hope that that is not too distracting of a sound when she's over there chasing her around because I really can't do much about it at this moment. They do, they do, they do love each other. 
The little dog just, she's unhappy. She's an unhappy dog this week. And the big dog, she just wants to play with her. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna do a painting and talk about my dogs. <laughs> so glad you guys can't see my face. My tongue always goes nuts when I do this. All right. Let's just add the rest of the red. It's just my thought. Let's just. There we go. Okay. That's done. That is an awful lot. And just for giggles, right there in the middle. All right. Can you see it? I'm going to bring it closer to you. Look at that pattern in there. Isn't that pretty? Where the gold is kind of separating into the white. Loving it. Okay. Here's the true test. I'm going to move the tripod just a little. I'm going to put you right there. Make sure, you know, I think I'm going to use a bigger one. Just to be safe. Give me one second. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Goofy. Okay. I'm going to use... The bigger one. Just because I tend to get a little shaky and I've not done this one yet before. Yet before. Ah. I speak good English. I'm trying to see if I can get that. There we go. Ta da! Alright, let's put our, our makeshift stringer with a strap around the bottom and let's see how this does. I really don't want to do that like right in front of the, oh well. There we go. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm hoping you can. It's not really coming out much like a mandala right now. It is slowly coming out. I'm just trying to Get it to, well, I can go the other direction too. Oh, I can see it. Can you see it? Can you see it? Is it starting to come through for you? Oh, this is really pretty. I, oh, the inside of this cup. Or measure, yeah, yeah there's a measuring cup. It is gorgeous. I am loving these colors. I'm loving this. I'm almost done. It's kind of looking like a mandala, a little bit. The rest of it, I'm just going to let it drop directly in the center. I should do it like maybe a little higher, then maybe you can see it. And there. I'm going to show you the inside of the cup. Look at that. Look at the beauty. Look at all that. Just gorgeous. All right, we're going to set that to the side. I kind of don't want to tilt it, but I know I have to. This is a very different look. Very different look. I'm just going to kind of see if I can get it to finish oozing out. What will happen if I blow on it? Nothing. <laughs> All right, I'm going to lift this straight up. Oh, and let it like drip a little, and then I'm going to put it straight over the top of that. Okay, I'm going to pause you for one minute. So apparently, as I was spinning it, my damn phone shut off. So this is what you get to see is the end effect. Oh, I'm so frustrated. Hold on one second for me. I get my torch. Okay, I'm back. Flame. Oh, torch. I'm just gonna kind of go over the top and, and see what happens. Actually, my torch is... There we go. I am really not truly seeing a whole lot of change. I don't know 
if I hold it up a little more and we're trying here. Ooh, this is really pretty right here. I'm not seeing a whole lot of a whole lot of much in this at this moment. Oh, I'm getting there. I'm getting there slowly. I keep swirling it around. It's slowly coming through. Little bits here and there. I'm not sure what all you can see because what is coming through is fairly small. But I think you're starting to get a little bit of it. And if I just take my time, it'll start to work its way through. It's just being moody for a minute. I don't know that I probably used enough silicone. Yeah, maybe I did. Maybe it's just the silicone. I did. I'm not used to that silicone. So maybe I just didn't quite put enough. I'm really liking these dark edges. It is gorgeous. Kind of hoping it does a little bit more. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? All right, and that center is just not really doing much of anything at this moment. So let's turn that off. And I'm going to set the torch down. And I'm going to grab you and flip you over to give you a better look. Hold on one second for me. I'll be right back. Back. Sorry about the light. Can you see all this? It just looks like almost like the inside of a geode in there. I'm trying to keep you far enough back that I don't smack the handle of the look at that. Well that that didn't help. Look in there. Isn't that beautiful? Kind of want to plop, plop, oh, wow. that that made yeah, sure that made perfect sense. <laughs> kind of want to plop that in the center of it. It's coming at this view. Let's see that that light above me is just gonna go crazy. Look at that. Let's see if I can get a little closer and get it to focus. Look how pretty. Loving it. That part right there, it just looks like a stone almost. Almost like a stone. Okay. Come around this side. It's gorgeous. I wish I could turn that light off, but if I do, you won't be able to see anything. Look at that in there. Let's see if I do it. No, nope. I do it that way. And there's the center, which quite frankly is going to get a hole put through it anyway. It kind of, actually the center, if I hold it that way, kind of looks like a, oh, what do you call it, what do you call it, what do you call it? Um, an enemy? No, an ammonite. An ammonite. So there's that. Give me one second and I'll turn you around. I'm back. Okay. Ah, so the sun-dried tomato black and gold one is done. It's going to sit there for a couple hours and dry. And in meantime, I'm done with that video. I'm done. So I just wanted to tell you guys, thank you for coming and watching. I will let it dry and I'll try to get um, a little bit of video when it's a little more dry and not completely dripping off the ends for you that I'll put at the end of the video. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of when I upload another video and leave me a comment below.
tell me what you thought. Um, I know the colors got a little muddied, but tell me what you thought of it. Tell me what you think and tell me how your week went and whatnot. And other than that, you guys have a wonderful day. And remember, life is art. Bye.